Between Scene June Mini Snow Globe Making. Hi tweens! Today we're going to make mini snow globes out of the stuff you found in your kits. So you're going to have some gumball machine containers that you'll use. All right, get out your gumball machine containers. You should have two. You should have a choice of three slime charms, so you can choose your favorite two. You're going to have some mini super glue to be very careful with. Some Sculpey clay. A little baggie of glitter. A little paint pot container of glycerin. It'll have a letter G on it. And you'll need to provide some water. The first thing you're going to do is put down some protective surface, uh, paper plate, paper towel, newspaper. Uh, you're going to get your snow, glo snow globe containers, otherwise known as gumball machine containers, and decide what slime charms you want to use. If they have a flat bottom, they may show up fairly well, and you won't need to use the Sculpey clay, but I like the way the Sculpey clay adds a base. It helps the ones that aren't flat bottomed stand up straight. Now you're going to have to cook your Sculpey clay. It bakes at 275 degrees, 275 degrees in the oven for 15 minutes. You're going to soften it up. Press it into the base of your container. If you have a flat bottom slime charm, that may be all you need to do. You can gently place it on there and take a look and see if you like how that stands. If you have a thin slime charm bottom, something that need help, you are gonna wanna make an impression in your base so that it stands up. See how that looks, if it looks good, then you can gently pry it out of your base and bake it. Remember, it gets baked at 275 degrees in an oven or toaster oven for 15 minutes. Do not microwave it. Allow it to cool and hard, it'll be hard, and then you will be able to proceed. You're going to carefully open your super glue. It has a, a little seal on the top by completely pulling, putting the cap all the way on, screwing it on, and then taking the applicator cap off. You'll add a little dab of glue to the, your base and add your baked Sculpey clay on there. Then you can add some glue into the notch you made. Close your glue for now and place your slime charm in the notch. You may need to hold it up until the glue sets. Just takes a minute. The glue sets pretty quickly. Once your glue is dry and your slime charm is set, you'll be able to proceed. All right, everything is dried and ready to go. So now we're gonna do the filling the snow globe. Using your lid, you're going to get your glitter, your glycerin, and your water. I'm going to start by sprinkling some glitter into my lid. You don't need to use a lot unless you really like the way it looks when it's snowy. And then you just need a couple drops of glycerin. This helps your glitter not all sink to the bottom right away when you shake your snow globe. Just a couple drops. Then you're going to add some water. Not all the way to the top because you want to allow space for your slime charm. You can check it to make sure it doesn't overflow. You may need to add more water or take some out. If it's good, then you can open your super glue again 
and run a thin strip of glue around the top of your container lid, making sure again not to get any on your fingers. Once you've got that in place, you can snap your base in place. If you want to be super careful about leaks, you can run some more super glue along the base where after it's set. Just be careful, as I said, not to get any on your fingers because it will take forever to go away. Not really, but it'll seem like forever. You don't like getting this. It's not good to get this on your skin. And there you have it, friends. You have your mini snow globes. You're going to repeat it with your other one. And I hope you enjoy it. Save your super glue for when we make our cactus rocks next time or soon. See you later, friends. Bye.